whoa, 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 whoa. There you go right there. That about that was about it. Look at this thing. Look what the f I am outside here today at James River Wildlife Management Area. This is the Midway Mills parking area, I guess. Um, I've looked at the map a little bit on my phone. And I think, pretty sure that's where I'm parked at. There's a few trails that run off through here. Um, I've already picked one. It's not showing on this map, but I've picked one that I see from Google Maps. Um, so that's where I'm going to try to head to. Somebody lost their undies. Hmm. Oh, I see. I see a stream, though. I think I see a stream. Now I want to go down there. I guess that's what we're doing. Never mind. Never mind the high ground. The question is, can I get down this without breaking my knee? I should probably be using my trekking poles maybe for going down this steep stuff with with the backpack but then how would I record whoa how would I record my death if I uh, I guess I wouldn't die if I was using my trekking poles hopefully but I'm just gonna go slow and steady from tree to tree here and hope that I don't come across a tree that's dead or weak and just comes right out of the ground. This is sketchy. This is very sketchy. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go right there. That about that was about it. Can't be falling on your legs when you got a heavy ass pack on your back. Don't feel too good. I got lucky there. I don't think my knees or anything got hurt. But uh Yeah. I mean ultimately I should put my camera down. That's what I should do, but I'm not going to. Nope. Not going to do that. Oh, I did it. On my butt. <laughs> Oh, uh, now I gotta get up with this heavy ass pack on my back. Uh, Jesus. This was a bad idea, folks. Don't, don't do, don't, don't do this shit. Look how steep that hill is. I'm already sweating too. That is, I didn't need to do that. Look, I could have walked. I could have just taken a long path. Instead I did this. Mm -mm. Lessons were learned.
All right, I need probably four poles. Got my uh, four poles there. This is kind of the idea for now until I realize how bad this is. All right, I still got a few adjustments to make. I mean, this is obviously going to fill up with water, so I'm going to tighten the guy line or the ridge line once I have everything else tightened up a little bit and uh, get everything else set up and I'll make my little adjustments to try to get it as perfect as I can. All right, I'm breaking up the light here for a second on the camera. It's getting a little dark out here. I am getting started on the fire. And right now I'm getting ready to have a snack and I'm excited about the snacks I brought this time. Um, this is a monk pack protein cookie. 16 grams of protein. 20, 320 calories. Oh wow, that's that's got some cinnamon on it. Well, I mean, obviously, it's a snickerdoodle. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm gonna need some water with that. It's dense. Mm, it's good. I like it. Oh, damn, it's dry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get some water. Delicious, though. I like it. All right. There you go. Monk pack snickerdoodle cookie review done. I'm really hoping it's picking up those creepy ass sounds right now. Got my usual cotton and Vaseline starter. Maybe we'll be able to get it on the first try this time. First try for once. All right, it is 10:30, and um, I still haven't. Uh, I still haven't even cooked the wings yet. It's getting late, but let me show you my makeshift cooler that I shoved in the bag right before I left. soda pop with my uh, with my wings so yeah once this fire here burns down I will throw my grate on there and I'll start cooking them up so 
Alright guys, it's time to throw on the wings here. See how this goes. I'm just gonna try to drizzle some of this sauce on here so it doesn't get too all of it doesn't get use what I can, I mean. Most of it. Without hopefully putting the fire out. And then I'm just gonna throw the rest of it in my trash bag. They're getting a little brown, but they're not. Oh, some char on there, man. Come on. Alright. Um, I think it's time for... For, uh... Operation Rescue the Wings. I'm gonna have to move them, start this fire back up. Because otherwise it's gonna take forever. Starting to hear some raindrops. On the, uh... On the tarp. Just a few. And we are on... Take two with the wings here. Sorry, my fingers are in the video there. Try to get this position so that it just doesn't suck. I promised it was going decently under there when I put that over top. Well, I'm hungry, so. I guess I'm gonna snack on something while I wait for eternity. Got some of these uh, wonderful pistachios, chili roasted. They are quite delicious. Oh, I should have said they're quite wonderful. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do a take three here. Oh, we're, yep, yep. Whoa! All right. We gotta get this stuff burning more. I'll just bring you back at some point when I'm actually, oh God, smoke in the eyes. Okay, I'll bring you back at some point when uh, shit's actually happening or shit's not happening. If it's a complete failure, you'll see that too. I don't know, but hopefully next time you see me, I'm eating some wings or about to be. All right. Oh God, no, oh, Jesus. All right, now we're cooking. We're getting there. We're getting there. We'll be eating hopefully tasty wings soon enough. And uh, if they end up charred, I don't give a shit. As long as they're cooked and edible, I will enjoy them. Alright, now that my wings are nice and crispy, <laughs> it's time to take them off, I think. They've been on there for a while. They're definitely probably uh, cooked. And I've dropped like three of them into the dirt and shit over and over, so yeah, I think they're ready. Finished product. They're, they're a little charred, but honestly, I think they look pretty good. They smell good too, so I'm going to uh, let them cool a little bit and then chow down. mess behind me. I never actually got around to organizing my stuff. But I'm going to sit here just so you can see me eat these wings. And I even brought a couple of wet naps. Also, I did not check the view before setting this angle up, so I I don't actually know what you can see. 
So I'll have those. I'm gonna grab one of these crispy ones here. Oh. That's good. I thought for a little bit this was going to be a fail. I was going to have to just trash these wings, which would have sucked because shit's expensive these days. But uh, this has turned out to be a success. Hopefully a little bit of a learning experience. Mm. Oh, I almost forgot. Cold pop to go with these soda pop, soda pop in there. It's gonna be great. Oh no! Oh no! Oh jeez! Let's get that set back up. Actually, uh, I'm just gonna rather than set it back up, <clears throat> I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. This uh, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, man. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this wings, but um. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the swings and soda and uh, just relax. Hard earned wings. <sighs> it's nice to see. Laying here listening to the rain though. Oh. a view of my campsite now that it's uh, daylight. I believe it uh, is starting to rain. Pretty windy out. I decided to go ahead and go back to my car while I was out to stock up on a little bit more water, grab another cola, even though I still have the one at the camp. And um, I had a couple sausages, Italian sausages in the cooler. I grabbed those. All right, I'll see you back at camp or if uh, shit hits the fan. I love this weather. Like just, I don't know, walking through the woods and like a nice little rainfall. It's cooled off. I'm actually not sweating. Of course, right now I'm going downhill, which is rather nice. <clears throat> Except when you have a backpack on. Going downhill when you have a backpack on sucks. As usual, I put my um, fire just a little bit too close to the edge. And now it's just getting drained into so um, I think I'm going to attempt to cook these sausages on my solo stove with that little grate I have. So uh, that should be interesting. Got a nice steady drizzle going on. I tightened up some of the tarp guy lines, but it's supposed to get pretty windy, so I'm 
I'm not sure I'm how confident I am on this. Um, this tarp might just come down on me, I don't know. We'll see. We'll do it that way. Trying to move it without rolling it here. My signature at this point. Everything's just charred. So far, well, I was gonna say so far, nothing into the dirt yet. So that's good. We're gonna risk it just to get this other ends cooked. Please don't tip over. Okay, go ahead and get out one of my sodas here. out of the direct flame just a little bit that might help with the uh, you know not charring the shit out of them attempt to move these the grate off the thing so they don't burn anymore. I'm just gonna set that down just like that. There we go. They're a little dark but they're they're gonna be good. Let's see if we can get one of these on here we go. Make sure we're biting towards the end that's not sharp. At least just be careful. Alright, here we go. I think they're pre cooked, but not warm enough. I think the outside's charred, but it's not warm on the inside, so. Going back on. Yay. Actually, I was wrong. It was just that very, like, end. The very tip of the sausage was, like, kind of cold. The part where it's not uh, charred on the outside. Um, but, yeah, the rest of it, they were, they were hot and, and cooked, so. Which is a good thing because I could not get that 
to start back up with the coals that were in it and I don't really want to relight it so yeah Alright guys, I'm getting ready to try this out, see how it is. Um, I probably should have opened the bag first. Alright, what we got? It's on the bag, kind of all like spicy, I guess. that noise was behind me I'm going to assume it was just shit getting blown out of the trees it's like f flimsy it's not as firm as jerky looks like it has a ton of like spice stuff on it it smells like I don't even know what it smells like it kind of like a jerky but not I don't know. Well, I'm just going to try it. <laughs> okay. I don't know whether I like it or hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna give it another shot. I don't know. No. Yeah, it's too mushroomy. There's this weird texture in there. And right at the very end there, I'm like, yeah, that's mushroom. <laughs> it's mushroom and I don't like it. That's just, I I can't help it. I wish I liked mushrooms. You know, it would be cool to go hunting for mushrooms and then be able to actually cook them up and stuff and eat them. I'm going to give this one more shot. But I think my mind has already been made up. Like, look how it like shreds. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess jerky shreds too, so that's stupid to say. But it is, I don't know. Uh, no, nope, never mind. Texture's just no, no go for me. Yeah. I'll save these no, uh, save these no? I will save them no. I think my brother might at least, he, he likes mushrooms, he will probably, uh, enjoy them. So. But, you know, gave him a shot. 
definitely, definitely not, not, not for me, so, sorry, sorry, uh, uh, country archer provisions. Sun peeking out just a little bit, shining through the forest here. bit of wind coming through some of these real like tall skinny trees over here on the other side of the stream there man those things are just going going crazy Counts. Found my first waterfall. And yes, I am wearing toe socks. They help with uh, stopping the getting blisters between your toes when you're walking around. Especially when I'm walking around in shoes that aren't made for this shit slipping all over the place. And um, I don't know, I just found out they, they really help. They also straighten out some of the toes on my right foot that are kind of a little crooked. So it helps with the minimizes a lot of the pain after walking for a while so 10 out of 10 highly recommend never thought in my life I would be wearing them or um, um, shit what's the word recommending them even to people but there it is it's the truth that's that's why that's why you see me wearing those very comfortable Time to capture some cool water shots.
commence operation boredom. Uh, the GoPro, which hopefully will stop spinning once it gets down to the water. I will be... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Well, that that just happened. I was just getting ready to comment on I probably shouldn't have used twine. I probably shouldn't have used twine for that. Well, okay. This is Operation Rescue the GoPro and hope that it's still okay. This is what the old hiking sandals are for here. Oh, it's still on. That would have been nice if it was recording. I don't think it is, but that would have been funny. Uh, so, well, I feel bad for the little dudes that were swimming around down here. I'm sure they, uh, they all collectively shit the shit their beds here and got out, got out of Dodge. Well, water's a little bit cold. It's not too bad though. Um, yeah. Oh. Well. I don't see any water inside it. I would say it's probably good. But I'm not going to try to turn it on to see right now. I'm just going to open it up and make sure it's all dry. Oh, there they go. I see a bunch of them now. Going back over to their little spot. Alright, Operation Boredom. Lessons not learned. Commencing. We do have some nice paracord here now that I took off of my bear bag because this is obviously more important. And uh, now I will see what kind of awful video I get from from doing this. to have a snack I'm gonna try out this monk pack peanut butter chocolate chip all right here's what it looks like looks good to me Let's see if it's as dry as the other one delicious but dry and dense but uh so far, I would definitely buy each of these cookies again. Eight or nine out of ten, maybe. Pretty sure I'm hearing some thunder in the distance there. just now started pouring down. Whoa. All right, here we go. And I was just getting ready to try out this. This is the next snack. Uh, Bobo's Lemon Poppy Seed. The last snack before the night uh, ends. I mean, night's not going to end soon, but I won't be eating anything else after this. I think I'm getting a little bit of mist blowing in here.
Bobo's Lemon Poppy Seed Oat Bar. Also good. Not quite as good as the Monk Pack cookies, but it is uh, dense, dry, somewhat dry. It's a little more moist than the cookies, but I would still give it probably a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. Holy shit, I just, uh, um, put this light up to, like, go take a faraway shot of my campsite, and look at this, look at this thing, L what the f holy shit, so close to my tent, like, oh, so, yeah. I'm gonna find a way to get rid of this guy. Um, yeah, I need to get him away from my tent. Oh, I'm glad I turned the light on. I don't have shoes on right now either. I mean, I'm standing on a a pad, but uh, oh man, that was who? All right, that's yeah. Hmm. God damn, that's nasty. Nasty. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what kind it is, but oh. I hope it's the only one around my tent. That's how it is. You got it. You're sharing. I'm in his space, really. But I can't be having him. Like, what if he went in my shoe? I don't know. It's, I don't like that. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get rid of this guy. All right, unfortunately, I couldn't do it. Uh, I couldn't just move him humanely. He uh, scurried a little too fast in my direction, and I panic smashed him. So, you know, that's um, unfortunate, but <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, a reflex. A, a nasty-looking creature comes at you fast. You you just, you just go into caveman mode, and you whack the shit out of it. But now I'm, now I'm freaking out about stuff in my shoe all right let's see how bad this looks well, that's not bad maybe i should turn the light back off so that i don't know what other spooky creatures are like within uh inches of ending my life <laughs> Uh, no, now I'm gonna have to check like everything. See, that's that's the problem. Like, why do you have to come and, and make me all paranoid? There's probably none, but now I gotta be all all kind of, you know. Now that I know of them, I'm all freaking out. And see this pile right here? I probably just created like some kind of sweet ass, you know, spider haven or something. <laughs> for all I know. So, oh well, you know, whatever, it's, I'll just make sure to check the tent thoroughly when I go to bed, which might be here shortly because I don't know if it's ever going to storm, and uh, let me go ahead and turn this light off real quick. Um... Yeah, I don't know if it's ever going to storm, so I might just go to bed where, uh, you know, where it's safe from <laughs> nasty night creatures. And if it starts storming like crazy, maybe I'll try to come outside and, and video something. And if not, well, at least you'll get to experience it and hear it from inside the tent. So... I will see you probably when I'm in bed. Shoes are inside the tent tonight after that little spider incident. I'm happy to report that I have checked every little bit of the tent, the every the backpack, sleeping bag. And uh, holy shit, see I just got jump, I just got jump scared by my headlamp rolling out of there. 
Oh man, that's funny. But uh, yeah, we're we're. You know, I was confident, but that still bothered me. Um, but yeah, we're we're, we're the, the spookiness has been contained to the entire world outside of this tent. It's 1040. I'm going to go to bed. Well, good morning. It is a little after 6 a.m. And it is cold. Very cold. Cold enough that I'm actually going to probably start throwing some of that wood in the solo stove just for a little bit of heat. Here's my breakfast. I'm gonna have this uh, double dark chocolate monk pack cookie. Probably it. Shit, my sleeping bag fell out of here. Eight out of ten. Starting to warm up. I'm not sure yet whether I'm gonna start packing up. Maybe in about an hour or or what. I might try to. I put the sleeping pad down on the hammock. I'm gonna see how well that works out to just relax and, and uh, just a little bit more support. Well, it is getting ready to turn 12 o'clock. I, uh, fell asleep slept nicely actually here in the hammock for a little bit took a nice nap I probably slept for a couple of hours so maybe longer that was nice but I'm gonna get up start packing up and get out of here Apparently my GoPro died on me on my takedown video, but uh, everything's all taken down, ground's all covered back up, and I am heading out. Alright, we're here. We made it out. I hope you enjoyed this adventure, and I will see you the next time I'm outside. Take care.